The monsoon. For millions of years, these summer storms have brought life-giving rains to the unique Sonoran Desert. Plants, animals, entire ecosystems have evolved to take advantage of the summer rain. And it all starts with the heat. First, the triple-digit highs of June that sear our senses. When the desert heats up, hot air rises, drawing moist tropical air into Arizona from the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf of California. This air flows up and over the mountains that surround the desert basins where we live. As the moist air rises, it cools, forming clouds, then rain. Then, if all goes well, the storms roar off the mountains to drench the desert. The monsoon rains bring relief from the heat and precious water for desert plants and animals. The brown desert turns green. In an effort to better understand and forecast the life-giving rains of the monsoon, scientists at the University of Arizona have developed a complex computer model. We rely on the sunshine, moisture, and terrain. So those are the three things that we're trying to get correct into the model. And if we can get those correct, the model produces pretty good forecasts. When you're talking about monsoon thunderstorms, why we have them is because uh, of the mountains and the complex terrain that exists in Arizona. So as the monsoon gets going, the mountains uh, act as giant heaters, if you will, in the atmosphere. So the winds will flow up the mountains, produce an updraft, thunderstorm, uh, or the, the air will rise through here and then form these uh, towering cumulus clouds. Now as it heats up more and more and more through the day, eventually these towering cumulus will transition into uh, thunderstorms and precipitation falls out. And you can see that here on the bottom, you see that these get pretty tall and you can some see some, a few precipitation shafts that go down below here. This highly detailed model computes data like temperature, wind, humidity, and atmospheric pressure. Much of the data is collected by weather balloons released by the National Weather Service at least twice a day in cities all over the country, including right here in Tucson. The release happens from a roof on campus. The National Weather Service is located at the U of A so the people that forecast the weather can easily team up with the people that research the weather. U of A is known around the world for bringing together scientists with many different backgrounds to answer the big questions, many of which are related to the monsoon. In spring 2011, U of A was awarded nearly $3 million by the National Science Foundation to study monsoon ecology. This project brings together U of A's Institute of the Environment, the Laboratory of Tree Ring Research, experts in Sonoran Desert Ecology, plus monsoon and climate modeling experts. The goal? To better understand how the desert interacts with the monsoon and what it could be doing in a warmer world. After all, the monsoon gives life and without it, this desert would not exist as it does today. UA Science is leading the way to keep this desert, the people, the plants, and the wildlife prepared for the future.